We are playing Poggers Legends, made by Voltion. I have no idea what this game is about. <laughs> it is... Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it looks really fancy. I love the way that the mouse, like... Moves around it? I don't know what to call it. I think I did strain, change the... Oh, maybe I didn't click done. Stream time should be changed now, at least. Poggers Legends, let's just start it. Hello and welcome recruit, you are the first hero to join the organization. We, Poggers Legends, are a superhero agency. A company that specializes in taking down villains. Please state your name. Link, I've been playing too much Zelda. So then, Link. Since you are first recruit, we will put you on command of any new recruits. Until then, you will have to do the job alone. Right, I forgot to tell you about the job. Basically, we will take down villains and help out where we can. Everything will be clearer when you get to that part. The last thing I want to have sorted is what is your preferred type. This is extremely important for HQ to know. I tend to always go with water type. Please go on. For our final stage of this recruitment, we will have to register you in the system. Good luck. Whoa, this is like a little pixie thing. So, this is like my head skin color. I will just go with white because it's simple. What if this is head type? How do I change my hair color? Ah, I see. Okay, so head type. This is quite an interesting cat customization. Only two head types. Oh no, there's more than two head types. Chin? Do I want a massive chin? Let's just go back on, that looks the most normal. Body. Is it not the colour we were changing before? Hey, it's all the same. How do I want to look, huh? So this is mostly about neck. I don't really care about my neck style that much. Hair, yeah, this is what I'm curious about. We could be bold. I think bald quite suits us. I mean, I don't need to worry about hair colour. Sure. I was just gonna be One Punch Man then. <laughs> Let's be One Punch Man. The shirt with the. This looks the most One Punch Man, I think. Um, mouth. You can't colour your mouth. That looks One Punch Man. Call me Saitama. Oh, I don't know what his eyes look like. Can I? Which one's a mask? I want to remove the mask. Okay, eyes. Maybe that, and then when I change the pupils. Oh god, <laughs> none of this looks right. That looks creepy. And what color are side? I think just white, right? No, let's give him just like somewhat dark eyes. His eyes, I don't like his eyes, they're so creepy. We'll stick with it, but I, mean, I think this is our cape, right? And cape is definitely a yes if we've been Saitama, and it needs to be yellow. That's us. Colored eyewear, what does that mean? I got no idea what that means. I think it means that like glare will be colored with our outside eye. Um. Make sure not to overdo it though. Well, I'm Saitama now. I'm called Link, but I'm definitely Saitama. He doesn't need eyebrows. Sorry, I'm not so okay. Cam is missing. Save him at mission 5. We've got a store. We can buy a Pog Bay for 10,000 shiny. Well,. This is Pogridin City. Hello and welcome to Cam and Shark. Unfortunately, Cam is still missing, so I can't do much right now. So I guess if we have a Pogberry, we can get a recruit. Help, what's Pog's Legends? Okay, I guess I'll just try 
mission one and see what happens. I'm water type, they're fire type, so something must work out there. Is this a card game? Link will now attack Redena and turn. It's super effective. So I think that blue line means I'm attacking, right? Swap is probably like if you have multiple heroes, you can change out. This is really cool. So what do these numbers mean? I mean, I imagine attack? Max HP and magic power, maybe? Tough skin, it will take 50% less damage during the first turn. Extra resistance to earth type. Good thing we're not an earth type. One of these might also be speed, actually. Maybe the green one. Blue is speed. Oh, Kakawal, come in. Have a perfect time. I guess we just spam and turn until we win. I don't think I can do anything else there. Okay, well that's a win. That's like a few punch man true. <laughs> Maybe we can try to build him up to be like one punch man. Maybe we can um upgrade him and go all in power so he one hits everybody. We got one shiny as a reward. Lightweight, speed is increased by 50%, take 25% of the damage from earth, nature, and tech. Extra damage from fire. No, I'm water. The extra damage from water, that's me. They've got five attack. But they don't have much health, right? Yeah, we're, we're, we are pacing. It's going to be, once again, more than a few punch man, but... Wait, maybe we don't outpace him. Wait a second. Alright, okay, so we win that on 2 HP. <laughs> um, that was very close. So I have 900 shiny. I got 100 shiny last time, I think, not one. What can I do with 900 shiny? I, I just bought a honey cell. I don't know what that does. When I played this, my first mission was against someone whose ability was to regenerate health every turn. What? <laughs> what did? What happened in the end? How did you get past it? So I don't have a Pogberry. Link. Inventory. Contains honey can be- so this is- heals me. You used to level up your heroes. Can I- my heroes promote oh but i need to promote i need 400 shiny and 10 eyes okay well now we have some eyes spheres of boss eyes and rope of promotion it's rope string of luck do i need that at some point i guess Right, okay. Defeat all opponents within 50 turns. What, why would it even go up to 50 turns? I don't want to think about that. 50% <laughs> of that's downstream. Okay, we've got the same ability. Attack. They do more damage than us, right? So does that mean we have to grind for previous levels? I could use a honey, but do I want to? Because I'd rather just kind of grind and swap and will confuse the enemy, but I 
I don't think I can swap with just one person, right? So let's go back to mission two. I'll see how it rounds it out, but right now HP values feel like very bloated. But I think it will be a little bit better once I get multiple team members and the fighting gets a bit more complex. Because right now the only thing I can do is spam attack <laughs> and hope I win. I beat them the first time, so why am I not beating them now? Is there some like variation in the attack, like a standard deviation to how much damage you actually do? I think I'm not surviving this, right? Maybe I do just use my honey men. Just barely survive it. They get 900 money gold shinies. Okay, so now I should be able to. So I need two more eyes of promotion. Close out of store. Go to the link. My hero's link. Promote. So now he's slightly stronger. And for my next one, I need 15 hours of promotion. Let's just spend the rest of my money on that. And I can try level 3 again, now that I'm stronger. I think we're winning now. Which is nice. Ta-da! We beat Rosalind and got 1,900 shiny. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, so I can go my heroes. We're like 20 shiny off actually leveling up. And we can just do level 1 then. If I was not super effective against this guy, I do not know if I would have been able to beat him on my first turn, like as a f level 1. I do like that we managed to create One Punch Man, I'm very happy with that. So now I can go back to my heroes, Link, Promote. Or did I actually get like no money from that mission? I think I actually got like no money from that mission, okay. So I should do mission 2 then. That went down a lot easier now that I've leveled up. I swear you got more money last time. That's weird. Now I can promote. Okay, so now I need 20 eyes and 1,600 shiny. But hopefully, with this statage, I should be out of it. His strength growth. Alright, because his strength has hardly gone up, right? We went up from 3 to 5. His HP is going up a lot, but that's just like the opposite of One Punch Man. <laughs> He's really becoming Multi Punch Man. He has a lot of HP, but... Now this seems... really easy, <laughs> this level. What's your ability? Tough skin. Everyone has tough skin around here. We got a Sophia of Strength, which means we should be able to up our... Oh, but it only works in... It only lasts for the battle. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, I don't know when I want to use that, then. 
This is level 5, so if we beat this, we get Cam. Okay, it seems like we're gonna beat this. Okay, she's been defeated. We got a honey and 2,400. So we saved Cam. There he is. This is a really cute picture. I like this a lot. Hello and welcome to Cam and Shark. How can I help you? Pog is. He really farted. <laughs> Pog is. Um, so I don't have enough Pog goes yet. I right, so 10,000 and I'm not really in here to grind that much. Um, how much do I need to level up? So I need 1,600 shiny, I need 20 eyes promotion. I have zero eyes of promotion. Do I have enough? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Do I have enough money to level up? Just barely, just barely. Okay, now I've got 6 power, which is quite nice. My health went up by like 20, which is fairly significant. And I can give it another try. Just solo him with my current dude. First try, okay, we're like opposite, tough skin and first try. You've got like no health, but you've got pretty good damage. However, my damage is just better than yours, but I guess it has to do with me being a level 4 and you being a level 0. It does feel a little bit weird that the first two fights seem to be like the hardest by far. Okay, here's where maybe it gets a bit more complex. Um, I mean, I think we'll win this regardless, however you have slightly higher attack, so it'd be nice to get rid of you first. Your combined attack is like 5, which is not that much. Your combined health is like 80, which is not that much either. Oh no, there must be something happening, because I'm not doing much damage to you. 50% water resistance, ah fuck. Okay, we need to attack the other guy, because we are not going to be killing you quickly. So you essentially have 100 health. <laughs> Which is a bit more troublesome. I think we'll still win, but gosh. I was like, why am I doing like no damage to her when she only has 49 health? It's pretty crazy to think that this was all made in um in a week though. Because I really do dig the art style for it. Like it's very I don't know what to say, like cool. It looks like a complete thing. How much health are you on? You, sh you look dead. Okay, now we just spam attack on other girl. And we might not win this, depending on how it goes. I mean, you're only doing three damage per turn, but we're also only doing three damage per turn. Oh, maybe this is Somewhere I should have used my strength ball. Because I don't believe I have a honey. I actually know we seem to be doing fine. There we go. But that's... Like, we got way more shiny for the last mission. And the last mission was like... 10 times easier than that. Damn, this looks hard. What the hell? 6 power, 5 power, 100 health, 69 health. Is this where maybe I just need to grind and get myself a second party member? Because that, that fight looks tough. And then that only gave me 200 when last time it gave me like 2000.
And then I got 200 and 2000. Imagine that's the two different rewards I got. And then when you click retry, this is a minor bug, very minor, but the turn counter doesn't reset. I wonder how random they are though, because going from 200 to 2000 in the same fight is pretty random. And I wonder if I can just do level 1, and if I'm lucky enough, I get like 10,000 gems. <laughs> 500. Still don't have enough for a recruit. I got an IR promotion off that, but that's the equivalent of 100 shiny, so I shouldn't be too happy. But 2000 is much better. Now I can recruit someone. Okay. Pogberry. New recruit. She's cute. I think we're going to change this depending on the mission because I've got at least 1 or 2k. Okay. My heroes, Katharina, Glowing, Persistent Dark Type, Resistance. What type are you? Grass, I guess? I don't know how to read the borders yet, but I imagine it's grass. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How much money was it to upgrade you? 100. Cool. I guess I just need to get grinding again so I can level her up. Uh, mission 4, was it? No, not Mission 4. What was the easy one? Mission 6? Mission 5? Oh, I need to equip her as well, because right now it's just Link. Right, right. So we've got like Tech, we've got Water, we've got Earth, I think there's also Fire. It sounds like there's also Dark. What's an easy mission? I think it's... I think it was Mapeth. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Who was it? Roof? It was Roof. Roof was the easy one. Only 40 health. Okay, so set slot two, ten eyes of promotion, we've got the money. My heroes, Katarina, increase. Kinda wanna do one more as well, just so I can get her even higher up. It will cost 1,500, yeah we've got the money to go one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Restore my heroes. I feel like this should really be its own tab. Um, it is what it is. Just because to get there I have to... Like, for the different tabs, you can click between them and just travel instantly. If you're in a tab and you want to access this thing that pops up, you have to click it again to cancel out of it. You're gonna have to click link, you're gonna have to click my heroes, and then you have to click this. But it's alright. Obviously this was made in seven days. It's just a bit of feedback for how the UI can maybe be optimized a bit. Um did I upgrade her? I can't even remember if I actually did I did okay. Let's try this in with Katarina on the mission level eight. So what we've got grass and earth. So water should be super effective against earth, I can't really do much about the grass. But that makes me think maybe I should just gang up on the grass so I get rid of it quicker. But it has like double the health of that one, so I think if we do this, we will kill Miranda fairly quickly and I think Susie will require a bit more effort. 
What happened there? Vortex and Iron Dark Tide will be honed towards it. So I can't... I can't even target Miranda. They've really got me countered here, don't they? And if I try to not target Miranda, I just know I'm doing less damage. Okay. Let's see how we can do here. That's not a lot of HP going down. Yeah, it's just like a small thing that could be improved on. Like if I don't know if Volcion does intend to ever make like a to elaborate on this idea more, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's such a tank. I mean, like, I'm not very effective, so I can't do much about it. Katarina's trying her best. We might be able to do it, because they're targeting Link. Katarina's still got, like, good HP. But yeah, maybe I'll need to go back to the grind, pick up a third hero. Oh, I mean, I think Katarina's about to get pummeled here. I like how all the different types have different like particle effects. Like you've got grass here with like, nice little flowers coming off. With the earth one you have like dirt crumbling down. That's a really neat detail, like it's not something you'd expect from a jam game, but it's still included nonetheless. And I think it really adds to like the aesthetic of the game. Only stack versus are dependent on Ty because every grass card has a silly high for its level, including the one I used. <laughs> maybe that's how it works, and like water types are like maybe health focused. I don't know. When I look at Katarina's, I didn't think about it, but Katarina's stats in general are just like totally busted. She's level 3, Link's level 4, and she's just like better in every aspect. Health higher, attack higher, speed way higher. What is up with that, Katarina? What is up with that? Okay, let's just grind away at roof like we do. Okay, 1,000 shiny. How much am I actually after? Oh my god, I'm gonna get like 7,000. May luck be on my side. Three thousand? That was a lucky one. Just another three thousand five hundred and I'm good. Two thousand three hundred. Come on, you're there. I think your starter here is just kinda of destined to suck. Maybe, maybe the whole idea is to encourage you to hire other heroes and then you take the back seat yourself. Because that's kind of what they say at the start, they say like, for now you'll have to fight yourself, but one day you'll be able to get other people to fight for you. I need a tiny bit more money, right? I need $105, come on. Where were you, Ruth? Okay, surely you gave me more than one 
like at least four hundred and five dollars. I don't think less than that is possible. Store Pogberry. So I don't know what this is. Special one times Pog tree. How do I get a Pog? It says it out of stock as well. Yeah, so we've got a techno nerd. Let's take a look at her. I'll buy ten eyes of promotion first. My heroes. Shandy. Sweeper. So if you get a knockout, you become stronger. Okay. Oh, well, your attack went up a lot there. Let's do one more battle against Roof. I reckon, like, one more battle will be all it needs to get enough for Shani to go up another level. I think Shani going up another level will be a big difference and will make the next fight much more of a cakewalk. Well, Sion said he didn't have time for a pog tree, but I assume he would have allowed you to pull. Oh, gotta go full gacha, right? How much? Is that enough? I was not counting. I thought 26. I've been buying way more than I thought I would have. <laughs> Why do I have so many? I didn't mean to buy that many. Okay. 783, 136. Let's try. Can I just scroll forever and then get lost in the source? Oh yeah, you can. And then you have to scroll all the way back. So don't scroll too far to the right, because otherwise you have to walk all the way back. Okay, yeah, so everyone's attacking the right person. No, they're not. We have to attack her, uh, yeah. They swapped positions. I wonder if that AI can ever learn to swap, because that would really fuck me up with the black hole ability. Like, I'd be screwed. Okay, look, we're doing a bit more damage. We've got a lot more health. Hopefully. You can't... Oh, you can go above two times. You can go five times. Thank God. I swear it was not letting me do that before. Okay, now we attack by one. I, we've we've done it. Thank God. And we've got 5,000 shiny for that, that is nice. Let's continue, see if we can do the next level. There's only one of them. They've got high power, but like... The HP is kind of ass. Tech resistance is a shame. But I think we will smoke this person right here. I wonder if there's a bug if it's intentional. Right, yeah, I don't know if maybe Voltion wanted... Like, you to pay a bit more attention at the start, maybe. And so like, only go up to a few times. Like, the battles don't get too long until later, because I think having to see, like, three animations per turn is quite exhaustive. Nature resistance, light resistance, okay. Nature's a grass type, we don't even have light type, five attack. Yeah, okay, so we, we should attack the other one first. I mean, honestly, I think it doesn't matter. I think we're gonna do fine here no matter what, but... Okay, now we just attack the other person. Okay, continue. Just one person. Fire resistance. Does not matter to me. What are you again? Sweeper, right? Okay, that's very specific. I need you to get like the killing blow. For that to work out well. I mean, we've got water that's super effective against fire. So I think we just attack a fire person first. 
Is tech gonna be not very effective? Is that how this is gonna work? Let's see what happens here. Literally everybody is super effective against fire, including tech. Which, I'm surprised. I thought tech would be kind of like steel type, and so fire would be super effective against tech. But no. We're super effective, apparently. Maybe I misread it and it said not super effective. I don't know. 9,000 money from that. Okay. Let's have some fun. Let's just buy a bunch of eyes of promotion. I want to get this guy to um, be like a true one punch man. Is there any way I can mass buy without clicking 100 times? Or do I just need to click 100 times? Because I want to buy 100 of these bad boys just so like I'm properly stocked up. Okay. Promote. So now I need the string. That's kind of odd, but I guess, I don't know. It is what it is. There must be some kind of logic behind it. Okay, and then... What, um... Zero time string of luck, why does it say that? <laughs> Minus one, what? <laughs> Promotion requires minus one string of luck? Time chance of helping. So it's backwards. So, like, for example, sorry, I just heard some soil sounds. So, tech against fire is blue, which is good. Water against wait, what? Okay, so what he's saying is, this is attack, right? So the top row is attacker. And the bottom row is defender. Ward against fire is good. Tech against fire is good. But then here, fire is also good against tech, so it goes both ways. Huh. Okay, I guess we can just try... Another level. With my powered up team. Everyone here is super, effect super effective against fire, so we just, we target fire. And then we take care of water. I didn't even read your abilities. Vampire, oh, nature affinity. Everyone feel the nature type will restore. Yeah, well, no one hears nature. Yeah, I'm having fun. Parts of it feel a bit weird, but like obviously it's really impressive that it's made in um in a week. And I'm always a big fan of people like actually making an indie project of their own. So it's very cool to see Voltion make something like this. Some of the like balance feels a bit off and I feel like um in, and a lot of what battles come down to is just spamming attack I guess when you get later on with the tough battles you're probably better off creating a specific team to take down a fight than just powering them up and spamming an attack and I think that would be fun because of um team building to overcome a challenge is quite fun it's like if I have two, like, I don't know, like a whole team of nature people who give other nature people buffs and I'm going up against like a water team, then like that, that would be a good way to overcome it. 
But so far, what it feels like is I just need to make sure I've got a full team and I need to make sure I've got a high enough stats just from upgrading. Yeah, it's Link from Tears of a Kingdom who looks like One Punch Man. <laughs> but yeah. So what do we have here? So we target fire. Well, if fire does have a lot of health, all of us are super effective against it, so we should still take it down quicker than we would take down the Kong. I think. I didn't even check your abilities. Light and dark attacks will bend around it towards... Okay, we don't have any light or dark attacks. Protects from being taken down. Oh, who, like... Does this ability matter? That, that's another thing I'd say, it's like a bit of a more specific piece of feedback about the balance. HP values feel very bloated. Like, it would make sense if the way the game was built, that you have to like change your strategy mid-battle, you know? Like if the battle actually evolves as it goes on a bit more. But for the most part, where all of the strategy comes from is the team building itself not really the actions you take in the battle. So everybody having a massive health pool feels a bit odd. And also, I mean, very specific, but like, this ability, Endurance, I, I don't think would ever be useful. Like, even low HP targets have like, low level targets have like 40 health. And my highest attack at level 7 is 9. So that's still 5 hits to take down like, the enemy from the first level. So that does feel slightly old, but yeah. Right, yeah, like, I don't know. The HP values just seem a bit bloated, but again, obviously made in seven days. You don't have time to, you know, when you're trying to create all this cool UI, all the cool graphics, make all the mechanics work, create the tri triangles, have all the systems work bug-free, because like, I've hardly had any bugs. It was only in the shop that had a bug. And like, how much time do you have left over it? to play test and make sure everything is perfectly balanced. Not much. So obviously you have to, you know, take that in consideration. And despite like it being a very simple, um, like, like the game can be summarized pretty simply. The mechanics are fairly simple. And in the end, you're really just watching numbers go up and feeling good about it. But, you do still feel good about it. <laughs> so something in the game works, and it is still like a very satisfying game, even though all I'm doing is spamming and turn and watching the HP bar go down. So I think Volxion's definitely done a good job at making like a satisfying game. Like, I don't know. It, it still feels good. The game isn't frustrating. For the most part, I mean... I imagine if like your first level fight is impossible to beat, then yeah, you'd probably feel a bit frustrated. But once you actually get to the point where you get a fair bit of money off fights, like this, you you no longer really get soft locked. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it would make a good mobile game, honestly. Or just like I don't know, like a time killer. Like how how long have I been playing this game? Probably a fair bit. <laughs> so I might actually just end it at this last fight here, because I think I've done everything I want to do with the game. I've checked out some of the abilities. Hey, yeah, we want to target regeneration, I think, because that's just an annoying. Well, maybe we don't. Wait, wait, wait. Ten oh. percent of itself is a fair bit. It's going to be getting eight HP every turn. They both do sixteen. Their attack values are really high. I think. We're just going to target the one on the left. Alright, I say 16, but I guess my health is like 200 on my main guy. Shandy only has 80. What time is it? I'm trying to think, do I have time for another game? He heals a fair bit of health. I can see how getting um, an enemy with this ability on your first fight would be, like, impossible. Yeah, like, Shady's only level 2 and she's doing numbers. 7 attack. 
Hellas speed. Let's um before we finish off, let's level up our guys then. So you need 40 eyes of promotion. 20. 15. Okay, let's just <laughs> so while we spam this button and buy a boatload of eyes, how are you guys going? I guess I can just, I mean, I've already given like my final thoughts on the game, I think. Very cool game. Graphics are beautiful. I think it's just balance needs a bit of work, but um, very cool game. And the, yeah, I think this game is really good with its aesthetic and everything. The themes it kind of pulls off. The superhero recruitment agency is quite a nice idea. And I like, um, I like the character creator at the start of the game. Okay. My heroes. Chest of Shiny. How do I get a chest of shiny? Do you you can't buy that, can you? So I think that must be a drop from like a late level or something. Yeah, okay, so you're like max level then. We can't really do anything more about that. 11, 251 HP, my god. Yeah, and honestly, like, I, I understand the reason it was randomized is because this is made under time constraints. I think Foltzion wanted it so that you could do missions literally forever without him having to create 10,000 missions handmade. But undoubtedly, the game would play a lot smoother and be a lot easier to balance if there were defined missions. Like, you wouldn't get a case of going up against a regenerator on mission one and being absolutely screwed. You wouldn't get these weird cases where, like, level four is super hard, but once you overcome it, you can do the next, like, five levels. Easy peasy. Like, that weird kind of stuff. It's a 1% <laughs> drop. Wait, not even a 1% drop. Is it 1% or 1... Or actually 1 100th one of a percent? Because <laughs> that's insane. Okay, I need String of Luck to upgrade you. I need more eyes or more money? It's a very addictive game. Because already I can feel myself going, Oh, I don't really have enough money to upgrade Shandy, but I'd like to see Shandy upgraded. So I kind of want to play a tiny bit more and upgrade Shandy. But <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You played 50 levels and never got a chest. Okay. But yeah, I think that's my thoughts on the game. Really cool. Really love the art. Cam is super cute. Um, but yeah, I think in a perfect world where Voltzion could do literally whatever he wanted and not have time constraints or any kind of constraints, handmade levels would have been a lot, a lot nicer. But otherwise, really cool game. I'm probably going to end up stream now. Um... I'll try to get into the groove of streaming a bit more. I'll try to do daily, but you know, I'll probably miss a couple days here and there. But yeah, this has been super fun. Slowly getting through the jam games. I think we have about like six or four more to play on my list. Let me just read what my list is. We have to play... We have to finish Luca's Quest, because I somewhat rage quit that game when it crashed at the very end. I have to play Eevee Goes to School, I have to play Phantom Slayer, Rise of Pog Rocket, and... That's it! So only four full games and I need to finish Lucas Quest. Yeah, well I mean I guess it depends on um Voltion if he actually wants to work on it more or not. But um it's definitely like a cool proof of concept. There's room to work on it if he does wish to. Because of um it's very promising. Like literally, like I I've complained about the balance and whatnot, but despite that, I've still found the game to be very addictive. <laughs> like it is addictive. So uh, I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, thank you for coming around to stream. I'm glad to see that Joel's working again, because last time I streamed, Joel stopped working. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and we'll play some more Pokemon games. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Oh, we've got a tall waving man. Well, not a tall man, just a man with a long face. Goodbye.